Howdy. So, making some progress. Uh, we kind of learned that after removing the quarter panel, this piece is, is toast. It's smashed in pretty bad. So we went back to the junkyard and I cut this piece out from another donor car. Because you probably remember I had to cut in order to remove the quarter panel. Uh, this in all, uh, inner uh, wheel housing off this way, so I didn't want to uh, use that piece anymore. I didn't want to weld it because it's not going to be as strong. So I, I this is, is really bad. So I started pulling. I'm going to show you my rig in a bit, what I used to pull. So what we are doing here, uh, watching the cat not to fall, also we are going gradually all the way around the perimeter and we are pulling everything back out. You can watch a lot of tutorials on YouTube how to do this. So every time you pull, you take a hammer and you take some of the stress out from the metal. Uh, you can see that the wheels uh, on both sides in the rear got removed. So everything is on uh, wooden blocks. Uh, perpendicular to each other uh, and it's actually supporting the structural frame of the car so uh, again I'm gonna show you my rig in a bit I just want to show, uh, show you this because it's kind of cool so uh, I have a power pulley system here and you can see that when I pull the frame starts coming out right and you can see this indentation. I, I make sure that I didn't start tearing out the sheet metal. So in order to take some of the stress away, uh, you have to hammer it gradually. Oh, wow. So do this. Kind of start pounding everything back. You don't need a sledgehammer or anything like that, just a small hammer. Um, and you go all the way around. You really have to make sure you don't start tearing the sheet metal because that's you're pretty much done at that point. So once you know this is pulled back out. I'm going to cut this piece out. You can see there is a seam here and there is a seam on the bottom and we will take it out in one piece. Uh, drill the spot welds, pretty much the same thing. I'm going to do one more pull. Carefully. And slowly. Yeah, it's, it's kind of an art to be honest with you. of a slow pro process because now I have to take this off. I have to move it to a different spot. I can show you if you're interested. So to disengage this Make sure you don't pinch anything that you don't want. Okay. There we go. 
Make sure you leave the door open when you do this, right? when you start hammering how easy it is to to bend it pull it back out because this pulley system keeps a constant pressure tightness on the sheet metal So, I'm going to show you around real fast uh, what my rig is. So, trees. The pulley system is connected to a tree, two trees, like that. And then going perpendicular with a car, very important. On the other side, I anchored the car down to another huge tree, my awesome neighbor. Let me borrow his tree. Yes, I did. Yes, he did. So it's anchored down to that tree. And then I anchored it so to the subframe. So... And this is very important too. The car is going to move sideways as you pull. So I have this 6x6 six six on the floor. And I have a smaller 4x4 four four perpendicular to this. And on top of this I actually have a screw poking up. And I found a hole in the subframe in the car. So I put that screw... Uh, I let that screw head go through that hole. So this... 4x4 four four. it doesn't move anyway it kind of the car the subframe has kind of a, a nice little groove um, for this 4x4 four four. so this one doesn't go it slides freely on top of this 6x6 uh, six six. Um, and I have the same thing on the other side so that's how we anchor it down so you kind of keep and everything is perpendicular very important uh, so the car doesn't twist, doesn't do weird stuff, you don't do, pull it to the front, to the back, or anything like that. Uh, anything interesting? No, the car is locked. So, yeah, we start pulling. Slow and tedious process. Bye!